Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is another one of our mini prayer times. Now, I'm actually, you know, here in the station, and I'm listening to Light the Fire Again by Brian Dirksen. And it just reminded me about the fact that we need the fire of God in our lives. Now, the fire of God, of course, has some different uh, applications. For example, the Fire has the ability to refine and also burn away out of our lives the things that need to be burned out. Secondly, it brings heat and it gives us warmth and also the ability to be able to survive in the coldness of life. So, Father, today, as we take time to spend together in prayer, these are beautiful applications for the fire. Lord, would you light the fire in us again? Get us going. Warm us up. Lord, we are called to be a light, for example, in this world. Now, in the original purpose, of course, a fire was to provide light in a home or warmth in a home or purify. Lord, there's so many wonderful applications. First of all, Lord, light the fire in us so that we can be a light in the darkness we're called to break that also lord we are to be a restraining and enlightening force in this world lord we need the fire of god we need the power of god in our lives that's another uh, important aspect of fire it is uh, an energy source and we need energy lord supernatural energy today to be able to go into our world and to be a force to reckon with lord in our world also as well lord we're going to take a moment and ask you lord to refine our lives you know jesus said this if you're not willing to pick up your cross and follow me he says you're not worthy of me we are of course to crucify our flesh and the fire of god also is an element in which that can happen. So, Lord, those areas of our lives that right now need purification, refining, and we know that the more heat that you put on a metal, the more pure it comes. Lord, we want to become pure. We want to become whole. We want to be refined. We want to have the best qualities in our lives today. So, Father, we invite that right now please, Lord, refine us right now. 1 John 1, 9 says that, Lord, if we confess our sins, you're faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, we're bringing every thought, word, deed, attitude, motive. We're bringing it all to you right now. Father, would you please refine us? It's not going to be a fun process, but Lord, I remember the story of John Bunyan. He spent two years in self-reflection, and also self-purification. He said, Lord, is this area uh, under you? And uh, he spent two years, but finally at the end of the journey, he said, Lord, thank you for what you have done in my life. Father, today, refine us. Lord, today, also as well, enlighten us, Lord. Help us, Lord, by your word to be enlightened and illuminated and have revelation, Lord, when we need it. Open our minds that, Lord, we would be able to receive, but also as well, live out your word. You know, one of the things that we that light does is, of course, illuminate. And Lord, where there is light, there can't be darkness. Father, today, illuminate through our lives, Lord, the morality, the purity, the holiness, and also as well, Lord, the reflection of you. Jesus said, I do the will of my Father. Lord, that's what we're praying today. We're praying today that we're going to do the will of our Father. And it's going to be His plan and purpose for our lives today. Lord, help us to do that today. Help us, Lord, today to focus on You. Lord, thank You for the fire of the Holy Spirit. That was one of the manifestations, Lord, on the day of Pentecost. And Lord, it changed those individuals and we need that change as well. Please, allow that to happen today. We know it's not going to be easy. We know that, Lord, we need it. Because, Lord, we are going into a world that's dark. 
and we need to be a light and show you to this world. And we ask it all now in Jesus' name. Amen.